today's session is technical feasibility in this lecture i will cover the topics what is feasibility studies categories of feasibility studies basically in my previous video i of feasibility study i told you about the categories of feasibility basically there are three categories technical economic and operational in this video i am ta i am talking about the technical feasibility okay so first of all those who have not uh, watched my previous video that is feasibility study so i am just uh, telling you about the definition of feasibility in brief so that ki they can easy uh, easily understand in this uh, video what i am trying to say and explain the tech um, technical feasibility so what is feasibility study feasibility is basically the measure of how beneficial or practical the development of an information system which is required for the organization okay so these are the categories of feasibility study feasibility analysis basically involves three three considerations and these of course are very important for the feasibility study or you can say feasibility analysis first is technical feasibility second is economic feasibility and the third one is operational feasibility in this video i am talking about the technical feasibility so what is technical feasibility technical feasibility is a, the measure of how much practicable the solutions are and whether the technology is already available to the firm and to what extent it can support the proposed system means if you have already available the thing then okay fine if the things come you plan ki up to what extent you have to uh use this or the uh, up to what extent this system supports like if we are talking about our uh, epr uh, this portal and uh, previously uh, this uh, we, um, we fill the portal in um, uh, like teachers diary students uh, academic profile etc now this is the new portal like digital 2.0 digital version 2.0 okay so in this version there are some of course previous system also supports but we have to extend some new features in this portal are you getting my point means you are adding so the previous system the previous system is not replaced by the other system but what we did is ki the uh, that previous system supports this system okay so we have to see ki uh, uh, we have to see ki how um, uh, how our system is firm and up to what extent it can support the proposed system okay so it also looks at whether it can be the analyst must find uh, must find out whether the current technical resources which are available in the organization are capable of handling the users requirement means uh, what is our present requirement is classes are not going properly physically you can say face to face communication is not possible in this lockdown period so what we did is our advisor sir creates this new platform digital version 2.0 in this portal we people are taking the lectures through youtube or through zoom whatever so we are uh, we are using this uh, online facility or you can say this virtual facility means how much the system is technically feasible so this digital 2.0 version is attached to our previous portal 
so that key you can see there is a new tab which is attached to or a new tab which is uh, seen in our website okay so uh, this is some kind of enhancement you can say so uh, in the second point uh, it also looks whether it can be the analyst analyst is what who is analyzing the things okay so it must find whether this current technical resources means this technical resources means previously what uh, what we done ki you just uh, come to the class we take the lectures and we take your attendance and then feed in the uh, portal portal side okay nowadays it is not possible for us to take the attendance because you people and we are not physically available in the university so technical resources which are available in the organization and capable of handling the users requirement right so the possibility that organization has or can procure the necessary resources okay so means we are just arrange the necessary resources what are the possibilities so that we can um, start the uh, start your classes uh, okay fine it's virtually but it's at least we start the classes okay there is there are some problems technical issues are also there but up to some extent at least classes are running we people are not sit idle we are working uh, our hand like we prepared notes for you we prepares the uh, youtube lectures for you and you are able to uh, to watch those lectures uh, at uh, from from your home okay so it is the safer side so um, uh, so the students take benefit Uh, for this uh, portal okay so the next is the possibility that organization has or can offer necessary resources so this necessary resources are also very important okay so this is demonstrated if the needed hardware and software are available okay needed hardware software means we require internet facility we require laptops we require some uh, softwares like uh, zoom or uh, means apps or uh, other screen recorder or uh, uh, another type of uh, such recording applications so these are available in the marketplace or can be developed by the time of implementation i think uh, you people is clear this uh, technical feasibility now this is a question for the practice write short note on technical feasibility thank you so much for listening this session powered by digital version 2.0 chayoti vidya peet women's university hope you are satisfied with my digital session if you have any query please mention in comment box i will resolve it thank you